The great man, the great man, does whatever a great man can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Great Man. A video from. Hey there, it's me again. I've taken a little break from playing Fallout to um, <clears throat> show you some comics. These both came in, these the two packages came in the post today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure Works Command to call me up and want me to go to work at some point soon. Um, so, you know, get some Fallout in while I've got a chance. <laughs> uh, right, so first off, four little comics that I bought off of eBay. I'm trying to get this Super Friends run together. This is only my third out of a 47 comic run or something like that. So I've got a long way to go yet. But if I can find them cheap, I'll quite happily pick them up. Super Friends is a bit of, bit of fun. We never got the um, TV show in the UK. At least I don't think so anyway. So yeah, I'm happy to, if I can get that whole run together. This is a double. I purposefully picked up a double. Because I was putting my Dial H for, uh, for Hero Comics all in like, one place. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to find a box for them or what. At the moment they just stand in the pile. But um, and realised that my Dial H for Hero from Adventure was really, really bad condition. So I thought I saw it for 99p, and I thought, you know what, I'll get myself a new copy of that. A new copy for 99p in good nick. The cover's not, you know, barely hanging on for life. It's not top condition, but it's better condition than the other one was. Uh, also, Action Comics. Uh, another one I haven't got. Her. <laughs> So, yeah, happy to pick up uh, Superman. is good fun. You know, I enjoy Superman comics. I do I do like him. Uh, I stopped collecting him because uh, I just, you know, for a monetary thing, I went Dark Knight rather than, you know, Superman. Um, and, right, lastly from that, sell another adventure. I think those were 99p each, those comics. So, yeah, just under a pound each. Uh, adventure 478. Nice bit of cover going on there. Uh, three superheroes in one super book. I think it was Star Man, Aquaman, and um, Plastic Man. So that's cool. Right, and then all these others I've got from a, a, a Facebook seller, a new Facebook guy. Uh, I've got a few people I buy from on Facebook, about four different people I buy from on Facebook now. And uh, they, you know, they, they kind of look out for me a bit as well. So, you know, I try and not. Sometimes I say, oh, that's a bit much. And they, they put the price down. Or oh, there's one I work with a lot, and he always has a price. And every time he says, we say, he says, that's uh, well, I, he knocks a quid off or something like that. Or, you know, so that's always decent. So, anyway, I've got uh, Tales of the Teen Titan 76. And most of these guys have, well, a few of these guys have got my link to my blog as well, with all my wants list. So they will they will look through what they've got and let me know that they've, that they've got something I want. So that's always good. Uh, right, so yeah, Tales of the Teen Titan 76. I've got a nice old Jimmy Olsen. And this one, he was selling it for, I don't know, six quid or so. I was like, mm, I'd like that Jimmy Olsen, but it's a bit much. And he went, oh, I'll let you have it for, I don't know, whatever, four quid or something like that. I went, yeah, go on then. <laughs> and I think he might have knocked it down a bit more after that as well. But I don't know, that's cool. Yeah, nice old Superman's power, Jimmy Olsen. Fiction Jimmy Olsen as the Batman Superman of Earth X. I didn't even realise it. Jimmy Olsen is Batman Superman. <laughs> He's a Batman Superman hybrid. And it's got the go-go checks. Can't turn that down. Uh, another more a, a later Jimmy Olsen. Uh, I think this is part of the Kirby run. I don't know though. Is that Kirby? The, the, yeah, certain of them do look very Kirby-ish. I'm pretty sure it's got to be Kirby. You know, someone's doing a very good impersonation. But there's kind of chunky kind of look that his characters have, don't they? Very chunky people where uh, he does. Right, uh, a nice world's finest number two four three. This is a pretty decent nick as well. I think it only cost me two quid. Uh, I have warned you not to touch these Cyclopean statues, Batman. Now the immortals have returned to Earth. <laughs> I don't know, Batman, he just can't leave those Cyclopean statues alone. I think he's been reading... Um, uh, oh, it's Cyclopean, not Cyclopean. It's actually Cyclopean. The Cyclopean is like a, a, a much-used word by H.P. Lovecraft, meaning look like they've been um, carved by giants kind of thing. Cyclo Cyclopean, like a huge... Uh, blocks of stone and he always talked about cyclopean architecture like um, um, the sunken city of Ile and stuff like that uh, not to mention the on Euclidean geometry but um, you yeah, know this is actually cyclopean as in as in one eyed statues not cyclopean as in yeah looking like it was made by giants but yeah okay 
close enough. <laughs> there is a difference between Cyclopean and Cyclopean, <laughs> believe it or not. Well, I believe there is anyway, at least I'm making it up. Well, here's an Iron Man comic, uh, number 155. Don't miss this strange tale with an even stranger title, The Back Getters. We're sure it will grab you. Okay, Bob Layton cover. According to the little blurb. But a few Marvel team ups. Still got a fair ways to go with getting that run together. Number 62. This one, the cover is so familiar. I was surprised I didn't have it already. Uh, uh, yeah. Number 79. It's like I swear I've seen that cover before so many times. I'm going to have to double. Uh, when, I, when I read it and go to put it away, I'm going to have to double check that I don't already have it. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm I think I'm fairly good at. But just, I think I must have seen it in other people's halls or something like that. Must have seen it in other people's videos. It's a pretty cool cover. Cool and Gaff, it looks like. Cool and Gaff is returned and is fighting Red Sonia and uh, Spider Man. Obviously, Red Sonia has been travelled in time to get there. And uh, Marvel Team Up number 83, uh, Spider Man and Nick Fury. Some pretty cool team up covers there. I bet the early ones are going to be expensive. Right, here's a nice old horror book. A Fright for Sore Eyes. It's Midnight, The Witching Hour, number 80. And look at that cover. I saw that. I was like, yeah, I can't turn that down. I cannot resist. <laughs> look into the eyes. Look into the eyes. The eyes of fear. Or oh, whatever it was. <laughs> it's a Fright for Sore Eyes. Right, a couple of uh, Superboy and Legion of Superhero. So Superboy, let's show you the early one first. This is a nice old Superboy <laughs> with Night Tiger's favourite, Super Baby. Oh, talking of Night Tiger, Night Tiger sent me an AOK. -okay. It was very kind of him. He, he, he um, paid pal me some money to buy myself some um, bags and boards. So he was like, thanks for you know all your support and all that kind of thing. And I always like to help out channels that are, you know that I enjoy the content and that kind of stuff. So thank you very much. Night Tiger, I should be bagging and boarding some comics. <laughs> this one's got this is a bit of staple, a bit of. I'm gonna take that out in a minute and uh, give that a little play with because it's got a bit of a uh, spine curl there. It's been a bit broken. I'm gonna see if I can fix that up a little bit. Uh, and Superboy featuring the Legion of Superheroes number two ten. Awesome cover. I like the logo. You got the banner, you got the big logo there, you got a nice box art. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and Action Comics, number 440. I'm kind of like a bit naughty when it comes to Spider Superman Action Comics. Um, like, I've got like a, a number I want to start to like this to get a full run, but I keep finding ones that are slightly older than the numbers that I've got on my list, and I go, well, I haven't got it, so I'll buy it anyway. So, yeah, I'm very open with that. Right, and this one I'm pretty pleased with. I've been trying to get the new adventures of Superboy together. It's about a 50 odd issue run, and I've finally got number one. Number one of the New Adventures of Superboy. It's an 80s title, but very much in the vein of the Silver Age. Uh, really cool stuff. Right, and that's it. I'm not going to show you anything from a box today. I think that's, uh, that's, a f that's an enough comics for you to, um, if you'd be getting by on. Uh, fairly short show. Shout it out, Night Tiger. Thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so let's just make Night Tiger, th Tiger then. The, uh, the, I wouldn't call him a small channel shout out because everyone must know Night Tiger. Because, you know, if you haven't seen Night Tiger's videos, then where have you been hiding? He shows loads of stuff. He makes lots of videos as well. And he shows loads of stuff. He does a few streams. Uh, he's been doing the uh, the superheroes of the DC Universe. I've been doing some um, uh, narration for that. Always happy to help out. And, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Anyway, so I'm out of here. Uh, cheers for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with some more comics. And I'll be talking about my podcast. Because uh, Sunday is podcast day, my heavy metal podcast. Tomorrow's show, it's the last Sunday of the month. I always do a theme show for the last Sunday of the month. And this month's theme is Alfred Hitchcock movies. So yeah, keep an ear out and an eye out for that one. And until next time, may all your news be good news. Night Tiger, Night Tiger, you must go and serve him. Ooh. <laughs> that was really bad. The link is in the corner. I go and serve my tiger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Night Tiger, Night Tiger. You <laughs>